And here comes Nick all the way down for his adventure on the paddleboard. Nick, are you at all worried about this? Have you done this before? Uh, I am a casual paddleboarder, so I think I've done it two or three times. Not that I'm particularly worried. I've, I've got my sea legs pretty on point. So it'll just be more focusing on trying not to fall. I'm not going to do anything fancy here, so it'll be good. Well, you are Mr. Nature, so I'm expecting good things. All right, let's do this. I'm going to make you carry mine, too. Well, we're here with Carla. You're going to give us the lowdown on this activity. For a first-timer, is this pretty hard to do? No, I don't think it's hard. I think anyone can do it. Um, it's such a low-impact sport that almost anyone can get up. And you could just start on your knees and gradually work your way up to the standing position. Um, and it's nice to start on flat water. And then once you hone your skills in, um, you can do the river, which we offer river tours, or you can go on the ocean, something more challenging. And I mean, it's not super intense, but there are some serious benefits. Like it's the abs, it's the arms, right? Absolutely, you work all your major muscle groups. Um, the legs, of course, because you're balancing the entire time. Um, your mid-back, your shoulders, your arms, like you said, your core. So it's a lot of balance. Um, I would say it's a full body workout. And beyond the physical benefits, just being connected to the water and being exposed to nature, um, I think it's really nice to calm you down and reduce stress levels. So Nick is doing a pretty great job out there, but I have Tommy here who's going to explain to me how to properly do the paddle. Tommy, how do I do this? You, you, you stand, you first sit on your knees when you're at the shallow part. And when you're at the deep spot, you, you stand up. And when you put your paddle in, it makes it shorter. Is this pretty hard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so start on your knees. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, now remember what she said. Okay, keep the core tight. And, uh, you know, strong, strong poles. What are some fun spots around Utah that people go to to do SUP? Um, of course, Deer Valley, Pebble Beach. Um, it's nice because it is flat, and if, if you've never done it before, there's no motorboats. There's, uh, you know, we're protected from the wind by the mountains. It's a beautiful setting, so I would recommend this place. Um, the Jordanelle is really nice if you wanted to move up a little bit, and we do offer tours for the Jordanelle if you wanted to get your technique down and something bigger. Um, and then Provo River and Weaver River. Nick, you did a pretty great job. Didn't lose anything, didn't fall in, except for maybe your chapstick, which I see you've now strapped down for safekeeping. Yeah, I had to grab the chapstick. Uh, you know, here in Deer Valley, here in Park City in general, we like to reduce the litter. So whenever you see something like that, you know, pick it up. Make sure that uh, we're taking back a little more than we put in. Oh, that's not yours. It's not mine. Oh, you just found it. <laughs> Nick just doing good deeds everywhere. He's the hero this town deserves. Well, we had so much fun out here with Park City SUP. Make sure you come out here to Deer Valley at Pebble Beach and test it out yourself. We'll be right back in the studio with more PCTV reports.